All right, folks, welcome back to 10 Gauge Outdoors. Um, again, turkey season is just a couple days away here in North Mississippi. Man, I am excited. Now, uh, this year, um, I got a new pair of boots. Uh, something people don't talk about a lot is snake boots. Um, some people don't want them. They feel that they're too cumbersome, uh, that they slow them down, especially when running and gunning. Um, I just don't find it that way. You can wear whatever you'd like. Um, I suggest, if nothing else, just wear a dark, uh, a darker pair of boots of some kind, some hiking boots or um, uh, cowboy boots or uh, whatever you'd like, just something that doesn't stick out. But if you, like me, you like to have something that's camouflage or goes along with the rest of your camouflage for the springtime uh, foliage, but uh, I have looked and looked and looked. There, I know there's somebody else out there with the same problem, but I wear a size 14 wide shoe. Um, generally, when I walk in the store to buy a pair of shoes, I have to find the 14 wides and pick from the three pair that's there. I don't get to look through all the shoes and just get the size. And as far as snake boots are concerned, uh, years and years and years of looking, especially online and stores and anywhere else, every pair of snake boots stops at size 13 aggravating but there is two companies that i found over the years uh, that make a bigger than 13 size and go up to a 15. um that is uh uh thoroughgood which is i got another pair of those this year and um uh, uh red wing uh irish setters to be expect, uh, specific uh, red wing makes a line called irish setters uh, and a lot of outdoor boots, and they make a, a boot that's bigger than 13. Um, I went with Thoroughgood again to de uh, this year. Uh, the last pair I had lasted uh, about six six years, maybe something like that, I think. But I'm um, very rough on them because I wear them other than just turkey season. I got a lot of land out here I, cl I clean up and clear out and walk through uh, different times of the year. I use these deer season if I am in wooded place. Rabbit hunting, excellent. Um, I just I use them weed eating, uh, but I'm, I'm very very hard on a pair of snake boots. But uh, Thoroughgood, um, you can look them up online. Um, the uh, this particular boot is 17 inches high. I do like a high boot, but uh, and unfortunately I would rather have a lace up type boot. But the the size boot that I have to get. Never comes in a lace-up boot. It's a slip-on um, with the zipper. So, and it's a big zipper on most of them, on most all of them that have a, a zip on the side here. But it's a slip-on type boot. And then this area here is taken up and folded over inside when you zip it. Um, I like these because they fit pretty close to your calf. They don't feel like you're standing in a waders or something. Um, they come in a camouflage that can match up with mossy oak. I love mossy oak. Uh, but these come in a 14 wide. Uh, this will be my second pair of these. Um, Irish setters I had before that, they were quite expensive. Um, these are only a couple hundred dollars. The Irish setters get up to around $300. Uh, but anyway, uh, snake boots. I have probably only run into a snake out of all the years of turkey hunting, maybe two or three times. Um, I'm generally just, I probably walk past more than what I saw. But I'm generally just looking where I go, uh, but I like to walk through sloughs, uh, small creeks, um, just a lot of uh, bottom land when I'm turkey hunting. And I really prefer a pair of snake boots. I'm sure it's going to save me one day. Um, it may have already saved me and I didn't know it. But uh, <clears throat> the zip thing to remember about the slip-on zip-up type boot is that uh, these are waterproof, they say. But my experience is that when you have a slip-on boot that has this zipper, even though you have the inside that's all the way down and it just kind of folds over and it's not a gap right here, the, where it's sewn, everywhere that this boot is sewn or any kind of a slip-on with a zipper on the side, wherever it's sewn, water will eventually leak through those little holes and get in the boot. Um, they are waterproof up to a certain extent. You can go as 
as deep as they'll stand without water going in your boot, and you'll be okay as long as you're moving, walking through where you're going and get to dry ground. But if you're just standing in a creek per se, probably in about uh, 10, 15 minutes, you're gonna start getting water. But they are waterproof as far as just moving through terrain and moving through creeks and muddy and, and everything like that. But uh, the, the boot is a nice boot. Uh, it's, it wears really well. Um, it's very durable. Uh, you can, all snake boots have that kind of a, I don't know what it is really, but it's a hard, hard kind of a material up under the outside camouflage. And most all of them are leather around the foot and got some leather around it just to kind of keep the boot in shape and keep it, keep it where it won't just roll down on you or fall down and stay rigid. I like it to be a little rigid. But anyway, um, that's my take on snake boots. I do like them. I use them. I've always used them. And Thoroughgood is this particular name brand. Um, and again, because it comes in a bigger size. The, any questions about it, um, leave a comment. I'll be glad to answer them. Um, the, these particular ones I got off of Amazon. The Amazon had them this time. But you can go to thoroughgood.com uh, and see the different ones they make and see who's their retailers if you can't get them directly from them and uh, see where you might can get them online. But I don't know of any store around my area that sells these. Uh, just about no store sells anything worth getting, really. Um, but uh, and again, anyway, Thoroughgood, and that's my take on snake boots. Thank you for watching 10 Gauge Outdoors, and have an awesome day.